Screencast 18.2, Measuring Energy. Well, chemists are always measuring things, you know, mass, volume, things like that. Um, weighing out how much product they formed in a chemical reaction, getting the percent yield. But how do you measure energy? If you're a chemist, this might be a little bit of a vexing issue. After all, energy doesn't have mass, so what do you do with it? Well, you can measure it by temperature change, right? So you can take something... Uh, do a chemical reaction if it gives off energy. Surround it with water. Insulate that water. The temperature change could should be proportional in some way to, to the energy transfer. Uh, and we can measure it in various units, right? We'll get degrees Celsius change, but if you have one liter of water, imagine that in there, and let's imagine it changing temperature just by one degree Celsius. We can relate this to all these different energy units. Perhaps you're most comfortable with this one here, nutritional calories, so perhaps you want to focus on that. In any event, this one degree of temperature change for a liter of water is equivalent to 4,184 joules, our most sensitive unit of energy measurement. A scientific calorie, it's exactly 1,000 of those, and isn't it unfortunate that a scientific calorie is not the same as a nutritional calorie? BTUs, I see those for air conditioners, things like that. Now we're down to only four of those. Hard to move something by one BTU. And even harder for a nutritional calorie. That's one nutritional calorie. The energy required to heat one liter of water by one degree Celsius. Or if you have a power plant, maybe those numbers would just go into the billions. So you might want to use a kilowatt hour for that one. And that is perhaps the... Uh, largest unit of energy. Let us relate this to various things. Tiny units there, huge units there, and while this populates let's consider a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. How many nutritional calories does it have? Oh a lot, like a thousand. So that must be way more in terms of joules. Notice that one, th one nutritional calorie equals 4,184 joules. So I'm thinking 4 million, right? 4,184,000 joules in that pint of ice cream. In terms of scientific calories, only a million, 4.184 times lower. 3,960 BTUs, and the number of kilowatt hours in a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream is simply 1.16. This is Screencast 18.2.